Nice to meet you. So you're Louise and where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Right. From Revista Asine, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, Mel, it's truly an honor to be here talking with you today. Uh, are you excited with, with this new season of Queen of the Universe? I think you can tell how excited I am. I mean, in all the episodes, I, I cannot contain myself. I'm like stamping on the desk. I'm I'm yelling. I'm really <laughs> over the top. But also I'm very critical because not only does their drag have to be on point, their vocals are live. They have to be spot on. Their outfit, their hair, their makeup. You know, this is a full on drag show on an international platform with international contestants. I mean, it's it's like, it's very big and yeah, it's exactly. a lot of fun. Amazing, amazing. Well, Mel, this is not your your first time as a judge for a talent show. You participated no. before for um, in American Got, Got Talent and The Mass Singer in Australia. So Yeah, and X Factor. I've done quite a few of these shows, but there's nothing like this show because exactly. it really brings the drag community and all what they do into their full glory for everybody to see. I mean, it's on Paramount Plus, which means it can be watched everywhere by anyone. And I think that's brilliant. It's about time. So what do you think could be like a new challenge for you with this new show? Well, I mean, I'm a judge and I did challenge myself because all the drag acts, all the, every single one of those contestants wear corset. So I did challenge myself and wear a corset for maybe one or two of the episodes and I couldn't breathe. So I don't know how they do it. They sing, they dance, they slam on the floor, they whip their head around and they sing live and in a corset. So I, I was challenged because I tried it. Yeah, no, I, I watched it. Breathe. I watched the, the two first episodes and yes, it's amazing the talent that they have uh, I mean, the show is, is, is just amazing that, like, no, it's to really see exciting. It. Yeah. And it's done really well. And, you know, they get to each week be challenged because they either have, have, a, have a theme to represent their own country or the theme could be show more skin or choose a song that represents this part of you. So it really is a show that you can learn a lot from. And the makeup, I mean, I don't know how they do their makeup where it just stays flawless from the start of the show to the end of the show. Yeah, no, and I, and I think we, we have someone from Mexico. And yeah, you I do. Think, I mean, it, it, he was amazing when he was yes. think, singing. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. and that's what I'm really excited about because it's only going to be two episodes that are shown off the bat, but then you're going to want to wait. Well, you, you're actually not going to want to wait because the wait is going to be painful to watch the next episode and the next episode because there's some real twists and turns. It's very exciting. Okay, well, uh, Mel, usually talent shows are very emotional. What do you think is the level of emotions and drama that we are going to see in the Queen of the Universe in comparison with other shows that you participate before? Well, I think, number one, this these are drag acts. So the bitchiness level and the, the, the head movements and the little comments are just on point and out of this world and hilarious. But also being part of that world, you know, doing drag, and a lot of them have done it for many, many years. They've uh, they've encountered a lot of struggles. Uh, many of their friends have died from the alienation, from just being involved in that community, which is really sad. And it still happens to this day. So you really get to understand that community. You get to be, you get to embrace it and be along with them on the, on this ride, which is not easy. Amazing. And what do you think made this? season different from the first one because i'm in it yeah well beside that of course that's the only thing <laughs> the most important thing yeah for sure <laughs> well mel um nowadays diversity and equity and inclusion is a topic that should be addressed all the time in the entertainment industry right and mm -hmm. there are not many shows like the, uh, the queen of the universe right now why do you think having these kind of shows is important not only not only to open minds but also to educate people because it's part of our society and you know thank god for RuPaul he's had drag race for many many years but it was only it, it, it 
you you would have to know about it to want to watch it or be a part of that world. Now it's going to be accessible to anyone and everyone. And why not? This should have happened a long time ago. It's important. Amazing. Uh, Mel, what was that thing that so, so surprised you the most in this season? Um, the bodies, how they snatch those bodies in and just make it look, look like nothing. Like they're really comfortable because I had that corset on for a couple of hours and I was dying. And I'm a woman and I was dying. I don't know how they do it. Amazing. Well, uh, Mel, uh, just to finish, it would be amazing if you could say hi to people in Colombia and, and, and if you can invite them to, to watch the show. Okay. Right. Hi, I'm Mel B. Hello to everyone in Colombia. You must watch Queen of the Universe on Paramount Plus now. Thank you so much, uh, Mel, for your time Welcome. and for sharing all your your expertise in, in this show. And so I wish what's, I... your, what's your favorite collector item, your most treasured one back there? Uh, well, maybe I'm a big fan of Superman. So Oh, I let's think... see your prized one. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I think this one. Yeah, but that one's not in a box or anything. So how do you keep that one specially, like, Well, in stuff. the box, I think I'm a big fan of Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah. Indiana Jones. I met him. He's really nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> This is from, so for, which from one, the last movie. If somebody came in and robbed your place right now and they took one, which one would you be most devastated by? Well, uh, think about it. Maybe this one is the. From Let's have a the, look. If you take jingle, that one out, the movie jingle, jingle all the way from with Arnold Schwarzenegger. G all the, right, the and Turbo who Man. is that? Yeah, who's that? That one of is that of Arnold Schwartz? This one. Yeah, well, I can't see it though properly. Let me. Don't have the whole wall crum crumble down. That was good. That's like Jenga. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, this is very, very so do cool. Do you buy and sell them or you just collect them because you love them? Just collect them, yeah. Right. I'm a big fan and just collect them, yeah. <laughs> Good. All right, nice to speak to you. Well, nice to meet you and thank you Hopefully so much. Hopefully nobody for robs you. Keep I it. hope so. Don't air that bit. Well, and this is just my office. I have more in my house. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How many more? Well, around what? You must have counted. Don't pretend you don't know the exact number. Well, I mean, counting with all what I have here, I think I have around 100 on 150. And then in the house? Yes. I an mean, extra? About from this one, the, the, the Funko Pops. Oh, so you're a proper collector. Yeah. Good, <laughs> good, good. I like it. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.